In the intricate tapestry of human cognition, the mind emerges as a sophisticated workshop, a sacred space where the architect's most profound creations take shape. It is within the tranquil depths of contemplation that the fundamental framework of our existence begins to manifest, as the cognitive blueprints we craft and the internal dialogues we engage in serve as the essential tools by which we delineate the contours of our reality. Each thought, like a deliberate stroke of the architect's pen, contributes to the final design. With meticulous care, the mind selects which lines to pursue, understanding that the integrity of the finished structure rests upon the soundness of its foundation. In this process, the mind serves as both creator and critic, evaluating which ideas are robust enough to be transformed into action and which are to be discarded as mere fancy. In this inner studio, there is no distinction between the towering skyscrapers of grand ambitions and the modest dwellings of simpler aims. All are given equal consideration, for true greatness lies not in the size of the edifice, but in the integrity of its construction. The architect of the mind knows that a well-founded thought, no matter how small, has the potential to grow into a reality that stands majestically against the test of time. The act of creation within the mind is a deliberate and thoughtful process where each idea is carefully examined for its potential to contribute to the greater structure. It is a space of limitless possibilities where imagination serves not merely as idle daydreaming but as the crucial planning phase before the ground is broken on new beginnings. The blueprint of thought then emerges as the unseen yet most potent force behind any endeavor. It precedes action and dictates its course with silent authority. For the reality we inhabit is ultimately a three-dimensional manifestation of the countless mental blueprints we have drafted, revised and approved within the quiet confines of our minds. Crafting visions with precision requires the same meticulous attention that a sculptor gives to marble, where every chisel strike must be both deliberate and infused with intent. Just as the sculptor envisions the final form within the raw stone, an individual must see the desired outcome with unwavering clarity in their mind's eye. This act of visualization is not passive. It is a dynamic process of shaping and refining the mental image until it becomes as vivid as the world we perceive with our physical senses. The canvas of the mind is vast, but the master artist does not allow their brush to wander aimlessly. Instead, they paint with purpose, guided by their internal vision, ensuring that each stroke contributes to the emergence of the desired reality. The precision of this vision is paramount serving as the coordinates for the journey ahead and ensuring that each step taken is in the right direction. With each envisioned detail, the abstract becomes incrementally more concrete, the improbable gradually more attainable. Like an architect drafting a building, every line drawn with precision adds to a greater structure that, though not yet physical, has a form and function decided with clear intention. The vision, held with unwavering clarity, begins to influence decisions, shape behaviors, and direct actions. It becomes the mental rehearsal for a future performance, where the mind meticulously choreographs the steps of a dance, yet to be performed. In this disciplined practice of envisioning, the true power of the mind lies not in creating a mirage of wishful thinking, but in constructing a detailed and structured blueprint for action. The clearer the plan, the more straightforward the construction process becomes. When a vision is crafted with precision, it lays down the neural pathways that will, in time, become the well-trodden roads towards achievement. It is the art of seeing the invisible touching the intangible and creating the space within which the impossible 
can begin to take form. The magnetic pole of belief acts as the invisible force that draws the abstract vision into concrete reality. Belief does not whisper. It speaks with the authority of conviction, resonating through the corridors of the mind and transforming thought into a force of attraction. It is the unwavering assertion within oneself that what is envisioned can and will materialize, despite any evidence to the contrary. This belief is not mere idle hope. It is active faith, a dynamic certainty that infuses every thought and action with purpose. Just as a magnet aligns iron filings, belief aligns every aspect of one's being. Thoughts, emotions, and actions towards the realization of the envisioned goal. It is a selective force, disregarding the irrelevant and drawing in the necessary elements. The strength of belief lies in its ability to sustain vision across time and through obstacles, maintaining the tension necessary to bridge the gap between the imagined and the real. Belief also acts as a curator of reality selectively filtering experiences, recognizing and amplifying evidence that supports the vision while diminishing the significance of contradictions. It shapes perception, crafting the lens through which the world is interpreted. In its most powerful form, belief molds the self-image, convincing the individual of their capability to achieve what they have set out to do. The pull of belief is thus both a binding agent and a propulsion mechanism. It binds the individual to their vision, creating a personal gravity that resists the centrifugal forces of doubt and distraction. Simultaneously, it propels one forward, imbuing each action with the weight of intention. In the theater of the mind, belief is the spotlight that remains fixed on the envisioned scene. Regardless of the drama unfolding on stage, it is the steadfast gaze that sees through the fog of uncertainty and fixates on the distant shore of possibility. The alchemy of persistence is a transformative process, turning the leaden weight of resistance into the gold of achievement. It is not merely the repetition of action, but the dedication to a course once the initial enthusiasm has waned and the reality of the challenge sets in. Persistence is the quiet resolve that pushes through the inertia of the status quo, the steady hand that keeps the compass needle fixed on the true north of one's aspirations. In this alchemical process, time is a crucial reagent. With each moment of continued effort, the possible is slowly precipitated from the solution of the improbable. Persistence refines the vision, stripping away the non-essential and revealing the core intention that fuels the journey. It is an active, living process that breathes life into the blueprint of thought, giving its substance in the physical realm. The act of persisting is itself a declaration of belief, the embodiment of the conviction that the path one is on leads somewhere meaningful even if that destination is not yet in sight. The alchemist of persistence understands that each small, repeated action is a rite that slowly initiates the envisioned into reality. Persistence is also adaptive, recognizing that while the vision remains constant, the tactics to achieve it may need to evolve. It is the resolve to overcome not by sheer force, but by the clever application of effort, finding the path of least resistance to bring about the greatest change. The genuine practitioner of this alchemy possesses unwavering determination and perseverance. Individuals draw motivation from this experience, recognizing that with each endeavor, they make progress towards achieving the desired change. In this manner, Persistence may be seen as a fluid attribute rather than a fixed one, serving as a propelling energy that thrusts the envisioned goals into the continuum of time, intricately interlacing them within the fabric of reality. The hidden scaffolding of everyday life is the invisible architecture of habit, 
and it is the foundation upon which meaningful change may be constructed. We seldom give much thought to the habits that shape our daily lives, yet they are the invisible threads that hold everything together. They are the subtle designers of our fate, quietly influencing our behavior and, by extension, our results. Habits are forged in the foundry of regular practice, born from the sparks of persistent actions. Like a river that carves a canyon through bedrock over eons, habits create deep channels in our behavioral landscape, guiding the flow of our actions with little conscious effort. The power of habit lies in its ability to operate undetected, to influence our conduct from behind the veil of the subconscious. The construction of this invisible architecture is both an art and a science. It requires the strategic placement of routines and an understanding of how small adjustments can lead to significant structural changes over time. Each habit enacted is like a brick laid, each routine established as a reinforcement to the structure, ensuring its stability and endurance in the realm of habit. Intention is the master planner. It is intention that designs the blueprint, deciding which habits serve the vision and which must be dismantled. The crafting of this invisible architecture demands forethought and an understanding of how the foundational habits support the complex edifice of personal ambition. The magic of this architecture is that once established, it stands firm with minimal maintenance, allowing the mind to focus on higher order thinking and creativity. The habit becomes both the foundation and the automated system that maintains the function of the greater design, allowing the individual to inhabit the space of their creation with ease and grace. In the grand scheme of things, habit is the unyielding force that, step by step, builds the world we live in. It is the invisible steady hand that molds our lives into the forms we imagine for ourselves, out of the clay of our existence. The present moment is the only realm in which action can be taken. It is in the living present that imagination is transformed into reality by seizing the now with focused intent and unwavering action. We mold the clay of the present into the desired shape of our future. The most pivotal manifestation lesson is this. Imagination, catalyzed by unwavering belief, honed through precise visualization and solidified by persistent action and habit, is the way to convert the imagined into the real. In this process, the mind is both the womb of creation and the forge of existence where the spectral visions of our thoughts are hammered into the solid form of reality. The mind, in its awe, inspiring capacity, serves as the crucible in which the raw materials of our thoughts and dreams are transmuted into the tangible substance of our lives. It is through the alchemical interplay of imagination, belief, visualization, and persistent action that we wield the power to shape our world according to our deepest aspirations. In this grand tapestry of existence, we are not merely passive observers, but active weavers, forever crafting the intricate patterns of our lives with each thought we think, each vision we hold, and each action we take. The architecture of our minds, with its Invisible scaffolding of habits and its soaring spires of belief is the very foundation upon which we build the edifice of our reality. As we navigate the ever-shifting landscape of life, let us remember that the true compass guiding our journey lies within the quiet depths of our own minds. It is there, in the sacred space of contemplation, that we discover the blueprints of our destiny and the tools with which to construct a life of profound meaning and purpose. 
So let us approach the canvas of our lives with the meticulous care of a master architect, infusing each brushstroke with intention and each chisel strike with unwavering faith. For it is through the alchemy of our thoughts, the magnetism of our beliefs, and the relentless pursuit of our vision that we transcend the boundaries of the ordinary and sculpt a reality that is nothing short of extraordinary. In the end, the true measure of our existence lies not in the grandeur of our external achievements, but in the depth and authenticity of our internal creations. It is in the quiet forge of our minds that we shape the very essence of who we are and who we aspire to become. And it is through this ongoing process of self-creation that we leave our most indelible mark upon the world. One thought, one vision, one moment at a time.